Let's talk about the cost of living in Northeast Tennessee. Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany Watts and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Johnson City, Tennessee area with Greater Impact Realty. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, uh, please reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Welcome to part two cost of living video uh, updated for the year 2024. If you haven't checked out part one yet, be sure to do that. Now I've also noticed restaurant prices going up. Now, we are a family of four, and I know it definitely depends on what type of restaurant we go to, uh, but if we do fast food, usually it's anywhere from about 10 to $15 per person. Unless it's pizza, usually we can get it uh, less than $10 a person if we're doing pizza. But when we go out to a sit-down restaurant, it's usually at least 20 to $25 per person. But having said that, I will say that there are still some like locally owned small businesses in the area that still have pretty good prices. Okay, now utilities. I have definitely noticed a difference in my electric and water bill over the past couple of years. So my average electric bill Usually it's the worst in the winter time and it's anywhere from $250 to $300. My bill usually lingers around $150 if it isn't super hot or cold outside. Now I will add my home is older and it is not insulated very well. And our water bill is anywhere from $60 to $65 a month. And we are on a septic tank, so we don't have to pay for sewer. And I have Xfinity internet, and I pay just under $100 a month for it. And then for TV, we use just streaming services, but we also have YouTube TV, and I'm pretty sure that's right around $75 to $80 a month. Now let's move on to taxes. Now the property tax rate in Washington County is 2.15%. But if you live within city limits, you're gonna have that city tax as well. Johnson City's tax is 1.98% and Jonesboro is 1.45%. So the total for Johnson City, if you're within the city and you have to pay both county and city taxes, it's 4.13% and Jonesboro's is 3.6%. And if you're looking at say Greene County, outside of city limits, it's gonna be 1.65% and a total of 3.347 if you're within the city limits. Sales tax in the state of Tennessee is 7%. And in our area of Northeast Tennessee, most towns range from an additional 2.25% to about 2.75%, making the total sales tax in the area usually around 9.5%. Okay, gas prices. Now, with it being the year 2024, an election year, I know that Sometimes that can affect gas prices. They kind of trend downwards before an election. But gas is currently around $2.89 a gallon for unleaded, and diesel is $3.65 per gallon, and that's also gonna vary a little bit depending on what county you're in. All right, moving on to fun things to do in the area. Let's say the movie theater. Now, depending on which theater you pick and what town, most of the time, the adult tickets range anywhere from about $8 to $13 a person. And then if you're able to do the matinee, go earlier in the day, the tickets can be discounted usually to about six to $10 a person. Now, I went roller skating in Johnson City a couple months ago, and it was really affordable. It was like less than $10 for me to get in, and that was, unlimited time I could stay as long as I wanted. Now it also included the rental skates as well. Now because like Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge is so close, um, you know, it could be anywhere from about an hour and a half to two and a half hours away, depending on where you're at in the Tri-Cities. But because we're so close, we will take uh, day trips there. 
and that area is a major tourist spot. So it is definitely expensive to visit that area. Now going back locally, I've found the, the Paramount Bristol and the Freedom Hall Civic Center in Johnson City. I found both of those places to be pretty affordable for their shows and their concerts that they put on. Well, if you have any specific questions for me, feel free to reach out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.